And we're gonna take the opportunity and move north because we are hopefully hauling out this week. Babes, you wanna know some good news? We chose a pretty sweet day to leave. And the sun is just off. <laughs> right next to the fancy island. So hopefully they don't kick us away. We bought an old abandoned catamaran, spent two years rebuilding her and embarked on a 7,000 mile journey across the Atlantic Ocean to our dream cruising grounds, the beautiful Caribbean. Subscribe below and follow the adventure as we explore our way up the Caribbean chain of islands to the beautiful Bahamas. You guys are having a lovely, beautiful morning, like we are. Absolutely dead quiet. This is the first day here in Grenada that it's so, so calm. It's insane. And it's actually because there's a there's a wave coming through. There's a whole bunch of squalls coming through. So in between the squalls, it actually gets this quiet. And we're going to take the opportunity and move north because we are hopefully hauling out this week. As you know, when we cross the Atlantic, those uh, flange covers came loose so we want to bond them back up again do some touch-ups on the anti-fouling and uh, service both gearboxes uh, the one still has a little bit of uh, water in it so we want to see if, if it's the seals if it is replace the seals we're getting ready to move to our new spot today because we want to get hauled out and we're pretty much going back to where we first were anchored well second no not first anchored we're going back to where we anchored second close to Clark's Court where the haul out facilities are. So it's two bays down from us, or up from us. Up from us. Up from us. And uh, so yeah, we're gonna go there and then hopefully we can haul out Wednesday, but we'll see what they say. It seems like there is availability for boats who wanna just do some boat work. So we'll check it out. And uh, Ricky's already got our dinghy up. How goes that? Check, browsing through Instagram. Waiting sure. for the squall. <laughs> yeah, it's just better when then when it's nice and clear and we've got good visit of the reefs, even though we got new charts. And um, yeah. um whoever has to lift the anchor has to be in the rain. Pretty much. We've got no rush, no worries. No rush, no worries. Packed everything away on the boat so nothing can go flying. We're ready to go, so now we just wait. If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up and join in on our adventures to come. Our plan is to head up to the Bahamas, so join in for that. Cleaned our bridal like literally a week ago. And look at it already, it's disgusting. How gross is our bridal? Just cleaned that thing like two weeks ago. I know. This shit grows like crazy. Feels like once you like scrape it, it's like it grows back easy or something. It does seem like that, huh? You get that anchor, you could have drug it a little bit longer. You told me to lift it up. I thought it was clean, you said no. it was kind of clean. Kinda, like the sand was still coming off. Kinda there, the sand was like kinda there. <laughs> so is there a reef anywhere here? So we've got a reef coming in here on the right hand side and there's two polyps over here. But like that, like two, three meters. Oh, it's gonna be a nice trip though. Should be a sweet trip. Should be have anywhere. A short swell, not much wind. It should be easy, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. The only crappy thing about these parts here is there's a very short chop which doesn't make it nice but short periods so this is 27 start the music kill the silence let my mind rest pour a drink cause it's effective can't seem to get my head around why i left you and no i don't like to be the bad guy So we just gotta do the rounds, make sure everything's pretty secure, nothing's falling around, so far so good. 
So it's our first time on this like at sea with um, insulation underneath here. And I was just lying down here for a second. There's a huge difference. Like there's not that that big slamming that, that happened before. Like you feel the impact when you slam down on the on the water. And noise wise, huge difference. This cabin is so much quieter. So I'm gonna go tell Ricky and see how he's doing. Babes, you want to know some good news? What? Those quiet cabins are like huge difference. Yeah. Like I was lying on the bed because it was slamming a bit there. There's none of that like sudden hit. And then also it's so much quieter. Like I couldn't hear it, the slamming oh, noise against the like bottom. Hollow yeah, slam. I didn't hear it at all. I heard it flapping on the, the floor and that's it. I didn't hear it on the bed. That's very good news. That's very good news. I'm gonna take it easy. I'm running only one engine. So we go upwind with one engine. It slows us down a little bit. Save some fuel and take it easy. Which is a shitty short shop. Not as calm, but it's not bad. Oh no. doesn't blow here to actually come and like today you could come and die there most days it's 20 25 knots yeah and to not have a top man makes it difficult or something yeah and it sucks not having it yeah, there's, there's currents here all of that what are these people them. doing are they fishing The boat was a South African registered boat that had just come in from Cape Town. They were a little lost and didn't know exactly where the quarantine area was. Ricardo, how's your charts? Now that you've finally used them. <laughs> Uh, you gotta love it. It makes it a lot easier. 
Like they are expensive. And it took a lot to buy, but I'm happy. No more cell phones. <laughs> no more cell phones. And they're on the dinghy. <laughs> don't know. But, shit, we did it all the way here with all the channels and everything. We did it on cell phones and. Yeah, but it killed up. It kills your batteries. It kills the battery on the phone, and the phone's so expensive. You might as yeah, well buy the charger. Exactly. My iPad was old, but it's now toast. Like after the land crossing, my iPad no longer works. So, yeah. Pros and cons of having avionics on your phone and versus having it on your charge bottom. You always gotta keep your phone or as a tablet or whatever plugged in because avionics draw so much power off of your battery. Now we have no none of that problems anymore. I need to tell Alejo to um, to bring the scooter around. He'll come fetch me with ease. It's raining. No, it's not raining now. Ricky decided he wanted to stop in front of Calvinian Island, an exclusive island for the rich and famous. Melinda Gates stayed here not too long ago after her divorce from Bill Gates. our new spot here and uh, obviously you know Ricky likes to be a I haven't even finished my sentence Ricky uh, likes to be a, a law abiding citizen and decides to stop <laughs> right next to the fancy island so if they don't kick us away um, Ricky says they shouldn't because it's public oh, it's public ocean but we'll see So we keep on fancy island, Kilvini Island. It's a very, very fancy. How much is it per night again for, to stay on the island? Oh, it's cheap. For you guys, only a hundred and twenty-six or hundred and thirty thousand dollars a night. So, but I'll give you a special rate. If you drop me an email. No, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, I can't give you any discount. But yeah, like 130 grand a night. That's crazy. $130,000 a night, baby. Just stay in that. Crazy. And the better part is like you, minimum stay is like five nights. Yeah. So 600 grand, five nights. It's a lot of money. You could buy a lot of money. We can buy our boat today. Mm. <laughs> Lovely. But our boat doesn't come with 20 butlers. That's true. It's just like that. We're only comes with 20 butlers. So we're gonna, so we're gonna go to our friends. Um, and they got all the wine. Betty. They got all the South African wines that we didn't bring. Yeah, they brought them for us. They brought them for us, so we're just gonna go fetch them. <laughs> Just kidding, Adam Patricia, I promise you won't touch me. So we obviously anchored here in our new spot and then phoned Clark's call to let them know like when can we get hauled out and they were like tomorrow. <laughs> okay, is there any other availability besides tomorrow? They said no, tomorrow or the 18th of August. <laughs> so now we're like crap and then they were like yeah you gotta take down your head sail and we're like Okay, so we're just gonna quickly take our head sail down and uh, yeah, we're getting hold out tomorrow. Plot twist to our story. That was a quick change of events. We come here to relax and now suddenly we need to prep, take sails down because we got a slot tomorrow morning. I think it's like 10 o'clock or 8 o'clock. 10 o'clock. I think we chose the 10 o'clock slot mm -hmm. to get hauled out. Otherwise, the next haul out slot is on the 18th of July, which is like three weeks from now. Three weeks from now, we want to be back in the water. On our way to Kerry Coo. On our way to Kerry Coo. We don't even get to enjoy our new view. No. One night only. See? That's what happens when you're cheap and you can't afford the hotel bill. <laughs> only stay one night only. Mm -hmm. 
Our furler ended up getting stuck, which was another job added to the list once we got hauled out. Hakuna was also on their way towards Clark's Court Bay as they also wanted to get hauled out, so we decided to be neighbours once again. Problem when your friends park too close to you, you get to harass them. Make some wings for them. He's got the load. Echo! 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 It's us! So, Lady Africa chilling in a new home right over here, right in front of that beautiful island. Absolutely stunning island. And the reason why is because we hauling out tomorrow. We're on a kuna at the moment. And um, so tomorrow morning we haul out. So exciting times. It was a beautiful night, the calm before the storm. Don't forget to subscribe below if you haven't already and give this video a big thumbs up. See you guys next week.